James in Perland, Texas, wherever that is. Well, I know where Texas is. I'm not sure where Perland is. Hey, Paul, why don't speakers come with 12 and 15 inch woofers like they used to 30 years ago? Well, that's a simple, short question. Well, some, like, think about Tannoy's. Tannoy is a very famous, really old uh, British brand. And I think they still use 12 and 15 inch woofers and some of the pro industries do. But for the most part, speakers today don't have big woofers because they're becoming more cognizant of getting really great overall sound. And the bigger the woofer, the bigger the front baffle. And big front baffles are problematic for mid-ranges and tweeters. So speakers, as I have said many, many times, are always a compromise. Everything about a speaker is a compromise. You do the best you can here and you do the best you can there. A thin cabinet works best for tweeters and mid-ranges because you don't want this big, you, you have this what's called a baffle step to where sound is bouncing off the baffle at some frequencies and then as the cabinet disappears, it wraps around and you lose energy. So it's, it's flat, let's say, and then it rolls off kind of where you don't want it. So you want to have that fairly narrow so that that baffle step isn't very big. Well, a 12 inch, 15, 18 inch woofer in the front is gonna make for a very wide front baffle. And that's basically why. There was a time, even at Genesis, when I made speakers with Arnie Nudell that we just decided we still want big woofers, but we're going to put them in the side. And that solved part of that problem, created a whole other problem. But all the, you know, like I say, speakers are compromises. So today, uh, designers, I think, realize that you can get the same woofer output by just taking a couple of eight inch drivers. Like on the FR30, we've got four 8-inch drivers going up. And in the FR20, we've got two 8-inch drivers. Well, together, those are as big as any 12 or 15. And they can put out the same amount of bass. And then you add the radiators and all that stuff. So point being, we don't need those big woofers as long as we're willing to use a couple of smaller woofers. The cone area winds up being the same. The woofer itself winds up being faster, lighter easier to move, sounds better, you get a thinner baffle, and that helps the mid-range and the tweeter. And overall, you get a better speaker. Okay? Thanks. Take it easy. Bye.